this is a, a really unique kit. I like the fact that they're really flat and low, and they're very comfortable to play. You know, you can get around the kit really easy, and uh, you can actually overlap uh, drums, the 14 inches overlapping the, the 16 a little bit. So it's very, very comfortable to play. And, um, and I like the melodic component of it. I've said this before when I played concert toms, I like those very distinct pitches, and of course, rototoms are tunable percussion instruments, and Remo designed them to be sort of a, a cheaper, easier, more portable version of timpanis. So they're actually tunable to a pitch, and that makes a, a huge difference. This is a tuned percussion instrument. They're single-headed, tunable drums. And, uh, and in case you don't know, you can tune them by just turning them. So very, very easy to tune, and like literally within a few seconds you have a completely different drum sound, and that's also a very uh, unique thing about these drums. Um, and uh, with a setup like this, reminiscent of Terry's 80s missing person setup, exactly the way uh, you know he mounted it back in the day as well, with the toms under the hi-hat like this, this allows you to play some really interesting um, patterns. And I want to just show you a, a few that I find interesting and very useful. A couple of months ago in one of the streams, I showed you some moves, some symmetrical moves, and uh, I wanna just expand on that. Here is exercise number one. If you have five tom-toms, three up, two down, like I have here, let's just ignore these two over here. Try to play a nine stroke roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? two strokes per drum. Leading with the right hand descending, and then start on the first floor tom and play left hand lead ascending. And land on the snare drum. So that's a great exercise to get around the kit fast. And then you can sort of take this and scale it down, which is just seven strokes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're just skipping one of the tom-toms. So and switch between the nine stroke rogue and the seven stroke rogue. Five stroke. And experiment with those phrases and then try uh, exercises like symmetrical rudimental exercises with orchestrations. Five stroke roll. Right, left, right, left, right. Then left, right, left, right, left. And you can, of course, choose other toms too. Ascending five stroke roll, ascending five stroke roll. So these are all singles. A nine stroke roll with three tom toms, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, oh, by the way, yes, I put on little muffle rings on the tom-toms. They sound a little louder without the muffle ring. They don't sound much different, but I wanted a slightly shorter, uh, more muted sound. That's why I have uh, muffle rings on all the drums except for the six inch. These are great warm-up exercises, and they help you get familiar with your setup. Okay, because they're big, fast movements up and down the toms. 
They help you get around the kit with more ease, more comfort. You know, they're great exercises and great hand strength training exercises, speed exercises, and so on. 